Hi guys! So, if you read the title, it's time for June empty, so it's time to take out the trash. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I am. So, I'm gonna start time. with like my skin products. So, I'm gonna start with the Maybelline Baby Skin. And I empty this up, and I love this right here, and I definitely would repurchase it again. It's just that I just purchased two of the NYX primers, and I want to use those, and I want to um, try them a little bit more before I purchase it. I definitely will repurchase this because this is one of my favorites to use as a facial primer, but I just purchased some, and I want to use those up first. So. This is a repurchase. Next is the L'Oreal Uco Texture Perfector. And I'm sure you've seen me with this a few times before. I think this is breaking me out, but I'm not sure. Uh, I noticed it, I think I noticed it like the, in June, the beginning of June, or either it was like the very end of May. I wasn't sure what it was. So I went on and finished it. But I think personally, I probably will not purchase this again because I found something to replace it. And what I found is way cheaper, but usually I use coupons and extra bucks from CVS to get this. I don't pay regular price for this anyway, but I found something that doesn't break me out. So I'm gonna to continue to use that. So stay tuned for what I have replaced it with. You will find that out. I wanna do a um, video on that, so. Yeah, next item is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex Hand and Body Scrub. And if you know, it's empty, but I love Shea Moisture Body Scrubs. I really, really, really love the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line. This one, the, the shower gel is not as moisturizing as the coconut and hibiscus shower gel because first of all the ingredients on the coconut and hibiscus is the first ingredient I'm sorry is water the one on the first ingredient on the um, super complex body wash is coconut oil so it's not as moisturizing I probably will not purchase this particular line again I'm going to use up what I have and just stick with the coconut and hibiscus and I may try the other ones and if they the first ingredient is water, then they will come home with me. If not, I will just stick to what I know works. Last item, or I have one more skin item, sorry. This is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Now, I wasn't sure if these were breaking me out or the, um, the L'Oreal Texture Perfector was breaking me out, so I had stopped using these. But one of the reasons I stopped using these is because I bought one of those makeup eraser dupes you know that you can get at walmart with the three wipes and i've been using those because it's cheaper for me to buy that i can buy three of those i think it's like 3.97 or something like that and if i buy like two set i need at least two or three sets it'll last me all week and i just keep rewashing them every week you know because it's way cheaper than me buying these but i do have some of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the uh, finish you because I have them. I think I have like maybe three more packs. I'm gonna finish those, and then I'm I'm sticking with the um, makeup eraser dupe. I can't remember what, what they're called, but if these start breaking me out or if they are what's breaking me out, then um, I'll just give them away. So because. Maybe they'll work for somebody Next else. This is the Olay Wet Cleansing Cloth. These are normal. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. Just to, thought it was something to have in my purse to use if I need to take my makeup off in the car. And I use them. It comes with three wipes. I use these uh, one day when I was, I knew I was going to MAC to get a my Studio Scope foundation. And I took off my makeup because I wanted them to test me for it. And I used the, like, the last one of these. I probably, I more likely won't purchase these again because I think these irritated my skin. But I, yeah, I really, I'm pretty sure it did because I had a little bit of bumps after I used it. All right, next is the Nature's Bounty Fish Oil. Now these were in my last, my May empties. Now with these, I can't take these anymore. I started to feel a little weird 
and I wasn't sure which what it was, but I kind of felt like it was my vitamins. So I started taking these, and I started taking the hair, skin, and nail vitamins from Nature's Bounty. So I stopped taking those, and then I started still feeling the same way, so then I stopped taking these. I don't know, these don't like me personally, so I can't purchase these anymore for myself. Um, so I, I gave away the rest of the ones that I had, the other bottle that I had, so yeah. But those don't work for me, but they may work for you. And they taste really good. I don't know, maybe I have to try my, I may have to get my fish oil or my mega threes in other ways than fish, the fish oil gummies. So I emptied two Bath and Body Works candles. So the first one is light in the room and it's, it's a sparkling apple champagne. And these came out in the winter because I think I got this for like $8 or something like that. That was one of them, the day I went to Bath and Body Works and they were in there like vultures. I mean like, you could, you if you saw something you want, you had to pick it up because if you didn't, you would go back. It would be, it would have been in somebody's bag. It was that crazy that day. So I remember that day. So I absolutely love this smell and this is one of my favorite ones from the winter. And if they come back again, I will pick this one up. And the other one is Rio Glow Sizzling and Samba. And I think I got this in the summer. It wasn't last, I don't think it was last year. It might've been the year before that. So I finally finished it. And this one is the one that smells really, really good. Um, but it has like a tropical smell to it. So that's definitely why I know it came from the summer. And definitely will repurchase this if it comes back like this year, like now. Or if, it, if I see it at semi-annual sale or something like that, definitely will pick this up again. And the last product is eyelashes. This is the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. These are number 11. I got this from Walmart. These were my favorites for May. Um, you get five pairs for $8.88. These are my favorite lashes. I have them on right now. Um, I, these are mainly the lashes that I've been wearing like pretty much all the time except for like, I think one video I had a random pair on. I think it was my May favorites I had it on the number 43s. But these are my favorites. Like the last videos I did, which was, or the last video, was my collective haul from Ulta. I had these on number 11s on, but I had them stacked. These are just one pair. Oh my gosh, I love them stacked. I love them by themselves. I love these lashes. If you see these in Walmart, get them. I also seen these at CVS. There were two pairs and um, they were on clearance. So if I go back to CVS and they still have them, I'll get them um, the two pairs. But number 11's Holy Grail must have lashes, love them. And that's gonna be my empties. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.